everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to answer that question about the Ipsy box. How is the second month compared to the first month? So we're going to dive into what I have picked out and received as part of my Ipsy subscription, which of course we are just calling it what it is. It is Ipsy, it is not Boxy Charm by Ipsy because the packaging doesn't tell us anything. All right, trying not to get into all of the rants I went to last time, but hey, at least this time, the box is a little bit smaller, a little bit more appropriate the size. It's not as, you know, crazy looking on the inside there compared to last month, so that's exciting. We did, of course, get the little booklet, but um, it doesn't tell us anything about the products, which is still super frustrating and annoying. I ranted about this a lot last month. Very interesting that it's talking a lot about SPF, which is great and is something that people need to be educated on. However, there's no SPF in this box. I don't need SPF, don't, don't get me wrong. It's just a very interesting observation. So let's start off with the power picks. So what did BoxyCharm choose for me based off of my profile? And the first item that BoxyCharm has selected for me is this here. So this is the beauty set. Yeah, this is the beauty stat. This is their vitamin C serum. So 20% vitamin C. Um, vitamin C is an option for a serum that I had picked last month. And of course, in typical BoxyCharm style, repeat products in a similar month. Again, I still want to get the vitamin C. I'm excited to try the vitamin C. Just maybe not in back-to-back -back months. Especially because I haven't even opened last month's yet because I'm busy working through other serums. But this is what it looks like here. Okay. Classic white packaging, one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters of product in here. And um, classic pump. Can't smell anything off of it yet. And of course, I won't start pumping the product until I'm ready to actually use said product. So not bad. Again, I just wish they spaced products like this out because... I won't get to this one until the other one's done, and I haven't even started that one yet. The second power pick, though, no complaints. I am super excited. In fact, you give me anything glow recipe, and I'm going to be super jazzed and excited about it. This is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Cream. This is their kind of dewy moisture plus plump moisturizer, apparently designed for combination skin, which isn't exactly, or at least it's best for combination skin, is what it claims, which is very interesting, given, you know, it's going for that very dewy kind of look. Um, you guys know I love my glow recipe. I do have a small sample, or like a 15 mil or 10 mil size sample of this that I'm going to be trying first, but this is the full size product. What is nice about it, besides, of course, adorable packaging, it's got the refillable pod right there. So you can just plunk in your refills and keep using this container. You can clearly see in here where the pod actually is compared to the outer glass packaging, but it is a full standard 50 milliliters. And it's just so cute and it looks like a little plum. And I am very excited for this, but it's going to be a long time till I get to using it. But, oh, give me anything little recipe. I'm going to be a happy camper. So... Power picks, pretty good this month. I, I'm okay with these. Now let's get into the choices. So of course, on choice day, so the second of the month, I was in, as soon as my alarm went off, I am in the app, I am making my choices. Choices were interesting. Uh, for those of you who caught last month, you know basically I ended up with an all skincare box. Yes, that was technically my choice, but the makeup options weren't particularly great. At least for myself, my preferences, what inspired me or interested me. So how did we do this month? So starting off with the first choice, you'll see the selection of items that I had to choose from, of course, and what I picked. Um, and this was a fairly easy choice for me. You can see it down the bottom there. My second choice would have been the Beauty For Real Essential Pro Eye Brush Collection because you can always use more brushes. In particular, with that set, you can see there's a little spoolie brush for the eyebrows, which I actually kind of need because Willow may have chewed up the one I had because she's trouble like that. So I did look into that one, considered it. Um, Fenty Beauty, obviously heard of, but 
unless the eyeshadow palette is very exciting or really speaks to me or is a brand I really want to try or something like that. And I do want to try Fenty Beauty, just I have so many eyeshadow palettes, so I opted not for that. There was a serum choice in there. Again, I've got so many serums because that's often something I end up picking, so I opted not for that. The Blush Duo in Pink Lace, you know, that might have been nice. Um... But was a little lower on the priority list for me. The Frank Body Scrub was Coconut Coffee. Uh, so the Coconut Coffee one seemed a little bit more intriguing because I'm not big on the coffee scent. I'm also not a coffee drinker from a little trivia fact there. But the Coconut sounds nice. But Skylar is a brand that I am interested in. And I've actually been looking at some of their stuff online. Um, and of course, if you caught one of my more recent beauty hauls, I did get a Skylar kind of discoveries kit, which does have this scent in there, which is the classic Vanilla Sky. It is a roller ball with 10 mils in it. So lots in here, just my only gripe is a roller ball because I do prefer something that I can spray because roller balls, you know, they get all icky over time. But this smells so good. And I do have the mini from the mini from the discovery kit of this rolled into a project pan currently. So I'm gonna be using that one and then eventually I'll get into this. It has notes of cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar, which in theory doesn't sound like the best match for me, but it's that vanilla note that's really coming through for me. And that's what makes me very excited about this. So yeah, I'm very excited about this particular choice. I am sure, especially in like the fall, get a lot of use out of the scent. Okay, the second set of choices. Um, little bit on the rougher side. Uh, we had a body moisturizer, which I did look at. I think the notes weren't the best fit for me. Um, so I opted not for that one. Cab Cosmetics, I, they're... I don't mind their eyeshadow palette, and I've gotten some good use out of it, but any other products from them, I just have not been enjoying, um, so I opted just to pass over the setting mist, just because the brand. Um, the Josie Marin, uh, I do enjoy some products for them. I just have so many lip products, so many lip products. However, uh, the Hyaluronic, that sounds good, a little lip booster. I would have maybe considered that one as well if I didn't have so many lip products already. Uh, a leave-in conditioner, I'm not big on hair products. It's an okay choice. Um, the Avita, I don't do anything with my hair, guys. Like, I brush it. Sometimes I put it up in a ponytail like today. Sometimes I throw dry shampoo in, but otherwise that's about it. Like, I am not very good at using hair products, so. No, that kind of product isn't going to sell for me. So although I was intrigued by the Josie Marion lip item and the body product may have been okay, I went with the safer choice of the Sliss Miss Glam, CL Miss Glam, their Cotton Candy Trio. So we've got, you know, some nice looking brushes here all in their wrappings. We do have some nice little jewels on them, which... Whatever, they're fine. Um, I picked them more for the fact that they are brushes rather than like these brushes were amazingly huge or anything like that. So we have three brushes in this kit. Um, the one I anticipate I'll get the most use out of is this guy here, nice little eye blending brush. But we also have this full face brush. I don't know how to use this. If you guys have ideas on how to use a brush like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And it also came with this precise face brush, which I think would be good for a highlighter. That seems like a good highlighter brush. So, yeah. So brushes, always helpful. And then we had the last item to pick off. Um, so the Real Her eyeshadow stick. I'm very bad at using eyeshadow sticks. I do have a couple in my collection, but I don't have them into my routine at this point. So I, I don't want to keep expanding that area until I know I actually like them and know how to integrate them in. Uh, the lip scrub in clear, I mean, that might have been an okay choice. I do have other lip scrubs though, and ones that I know I like. Um, the Evio Skin Perfect Primer, I have so many primers in my collection, um, and usually more of those pore focused ones. I, you know, that's kind of a concerning area here for me on the nose, um, but other than that, I generally go for or at least in theory, I want to go for primers that help extend the wear of some makeup. 
Uh, there was the Browed Up um, from Pink Lips Cosmetics. It was in brown. Yeah, maybe that could have been okay. A liquid liner. I've got so many, especially black liquid liners, so I'll pass on that. So I ended up picking the YC Collection Wake and Shine Lip Balm. The packaging, oh my goodness, it was so hard to get this out, but I did. Uh, so it looks like this. Cute. Um, it is their Smoothie Lip Balm. Very simple packaging. Um, it's got this kind of color here, so that seems like a good color. Doesn't really have a scent to it, so you know, to the lip balm. Should be fine. Which finally brings us then to the Beauty Boost. Now, with the Beauty Boost, I'm struggling a little bit with it because that is an additional $15 USD a month for one product. Whereas if you, know, if you divide your box and all these other items, that's a better deal. So for me, I'm at that point where if I want to keep the beauty boost moving forward, this had better be like, knock my socks off, I really want this. And when we look at the choices, some of these weren't bad. Um, I'm going to start at the bottom because you can see what I ended up picking. Um, Juice Beauty, I do have some items from them that I haven't used yet that has come to me previously from BoxyCharm. Exfoliating Peel Spray sounds a little scary to me compared to like a regular mask kind of peel, but that could have been potential. Um, I would have picked that over the Party Peel from the brand next to it on Root Beauty. Um, just because at least Juice Beauty I have some familiarity with. And I'm a creature of habit, right? The brands I know and love or the brands I've heard a lot of people talking about, I tend to gravitate towards more just because it's safer. It's more familiar, right? Although skincare does work differently on everyone. Dermalect, which is a serum I've been trying to pan forever in my project pan for Skin is Anne. Um, I've been enjoying that serum. The product they have here is the Empower Anti-Wrinkle Treatment which for my age, I'm not sure if it's the best fit, but mm, I might have done a little bit more research into it. Uh, the duo or the, what is that? The trio here, that was tempting because you got three products in one. And if they do more of those going forward, that could be a good value for the beauty boost. Why I didn't pick it though, we have an eyeshadow palette, which again, I have so many, and that color story does seem very common, and I'm sure I have that color story in my collection. I do enjoy Ace Beauté. I have not tried their highlighter formula, but it's a highlighting palette, and I'm not a big fan of the highlighting palettes because you tend to have a couple shades that work for you and the rest don't just based on personal preference, skin tone, things like that. And then it looks like there's a pure product in there. And you know, overall, that could have been a good pick. Just, I don't need highlighter. I don't want them. Do I need any of the stuff? No, I don't. But I really don't need those particular categories. I also do not need face wash. Um, so the Fresh, the Soy pH Balance Hydrating Face Wash, based on the name, my, my skin went more for like a oilier combination skin type, whereas mine is a little bit more on the normal, sometimes dry side. Um, Fresh is a brand I would be interested to trying products from, but I have so many face washes that it's like I don't need to spend a lot of time looking at it because... I've got so many, it takes me so long. That's the thing. Depending on a serum, I can move through a serum sometimes quickly, depending on the serum, not the dermal left one, because that's taking forever. But face wash, oh my gosh, no. So what I picked, of course, is the Ole Henderson, the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Now, the thing is with this, um, obviously very adorable purple packaging, and I would have been very excited about this had I not purchased this a few months ago because I was very much influenced by Tati who talked at length about this for an extended period of time. So I purchased it at a Sephora, I think it was a VIB sale. It was a sale where I had a discount on it. 
Um, and I haven't even had a chance to use it yet because I've been working on other products. So, if I did not already have this in my collection, I probably would have been much more excited for it because, like, I did go out of my way. I did buy this product already because I was just so curious about it. It sounded so good. So, if that's on me. That's not on Boxtrum or not on Ipsy, I guess I should say. But I will be trying to prioritize the other one and... Hopefully it's as fantastic as I've been convinced that it is, and I'll be excited to get into the backup when I get there. Just in this moment for the beauty boosts, knowing that I paid 15 USD for it, again, good deal when you compare it to the regular price, don't get me wrong. Just paying 15 for white an item compared to whatever you would pay for these items over here. So that is my box. So we had a good-ish mix of things. We did have three skincare products, which is half of it, and two of those were moisturizers. Again, the part of that is on me because I did pick the Ole Henderson. I'm excited to try stuff from that brand. I did have a fragrance. I am very excited. If there's more Skylar coming, Ipsy, please send them my way because there are lots of scents I would like to try that aren't in my little discovery kit, so that's gonna be exciting. Brushes, always good. They're expensive. Now I don't ever have to buy brushes again, which is fantastic. And we do have this one makeup item, which isn't the most exciting because it is a tinted lip balm. So, I am still excited to be getting this box. And I'm still very excited to be picking my items every month. I just wish we saw some more big name brand makeup. So kind of going back to what BoxyCharm was at the beginning. Now, remember I, I talked about being on the fence with the Beauty Boost. If the spoiler is true, that there is a full-size Natasha Denona coming next month as one of the potential Beauty Boosts, that, you know, that would be like, yes, take my $15. That's going to keep me excited. So we're going to see what happens with the Beauty Boost over the next couple months and leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Because at this point, again, unless I see either bundles or those really big exciting things because I only had the five pans of Natasha Denona because that stuff is so expensive and I want to play with the full stuff but I I'm struggling a little bit with reconciling the price tag with how large my makeup and skincare collection is at this point because like I said I am opening products that I'm not going to use for months probably because I have so many similar items in back stock. So that is where I'm at right now. Again, so very excited, but let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of the choices that I made? What did you guys pick for your Ipsy boxes? And we'll see what happens next month. But we will talk again in a month from now. So thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.